Hi everyone, welcome to Mama D's house. Today I'm going to show you how to make Filipino chicken adobo. So what you will need is, it depends on how much you're making. So I have seven pieces of chicken. I have four legs and three thighs. I have black pepper, low sodium soy sauce, white vinegar. I have bay leaves. I have seven cloves of garlic crushed. The key to Filipino adobo, the flavor, is garlic. So it depends on how much you make it. So season to your own taste. <clears throat> so let's get started. So I have my wok. I'm going to add some oil. So you have to fry the chicken first. So make sure your wok is heated, or you can use it. If you have a large skillet, you can use a large skillet. And you can also bake the adobo. Just take all your ingredients and marinate it together and take it and put it in the oven. So I'm going to start frying chicken. You have chicken thighs, skin down. Make sure you drain the excess water off the chicken. Otherwise, it's going to pop all over the place. Grease. I hope everybody is doing great today. So I'm going to let my chicken brown on both sides. And I'll bring you back. All right, everyone, I'm back. So I'm gonna also make some jasmine rice, or you can use brown rice. So to make rice, you need one cup of rice. And this is jasmine rice. You really don't need a lot of water, so make sure you don't put too much water. Otherwise, it'll be gummy. So this is one cup of jasmine rice to one pot. So I'm going to rinse my rice. <clears throat> so you, <clears throat> just so you know, your chicken, make sure you wash your chicken. So I wash my chicken <clears throat> in cold water. I add vinegar, or you can add salt. Or you can use lemon juice to clean your chicken. Make sure you clean your chicken and make sure you pat it dry before you put it in the skillet. So now <clears throat> I'm going to add two cups of water. To the jasmine rice, maybe a little less. Just make sure you don't add more than two cups. And pour it in my pot. With the jasmine rice, you don't need to add butter or salt. So I'll bring you back. When it's done. I'm back. I'm going to flip my chicken over to get it nice and brown on both sides. So make sure you brown your chicken first. 
Look at that, nice and golden brown. All right, when I get ready to add the ingredients, I'll bring you back. Hi right, everyone, I'm back. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my six cloves of fresh garlic. This is fresh garlic. Make sure you stir until well combined. The aroma of this garlic smells amazing. So you can use chicken thighs, chicken legs, chicken wings. You can also make pork adobo. You can use pork chops. Keep on stirring. Now I'm going to add my soy sauce. One minute. So one cup of soy sauce. It depends on how much you're making. If you're making like cook four pieces of chicken, then you might want to do one a, a half a cup of soy sauce. I'm gonna start with a half. A half a cup of soy sauce. and a half a cup of white vinegar. You can also use apple cider vinegar. You can also use Filipino cane vinegar. I'm gonna add in some black pepper. Season to your own taste. Give that a quick stir. Y'all, this smells so tasty. All right, I'm gonna let this simmer for about 30 minutes. And I'll bring you back. Oh, bay leaves. Very important for the taste. So I'm gonna stir in my bay leaves. All right. All right, everyone, I'm back. So off camera, I added two tablespoons of brown sugar. So it's a chicken thigh. I'm gonna show you a trick to rice. Instead of taking your spoon and dipping in it, you take your fork and you go through your rice like this. Take some of the broth from the chicken adobo and put over your rice. Chicken adobo, Filipino chicken adobo. So I'm gonna read the ingredients one more time. So six chicken thighs or legs, one half cup of soy sauce, one half cup of white vinegar, four cloves of garlic crush, one tablespoon of black pepper, four bay leaves, 
two tablespoons of brown sugar. You don't have to add the brown sugar. This is the first time I added the brown sugar and it tastes amazing. So season to your own taste. All right, everyone. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you for tuning in to my channel. God bless. Bye.